I was out and about trying to find a very, very cheap plain t-shirt that I can make the orangutan mask on on upcoming videos for Cambodia. Walk past this cafe, Christmas decorated, obviously. Now I'm gonna brutalize the name, Atiele Sladowski, <laughs> Dembita, Poland. Uh, you will see it, you will see it. It's covered in Christmas decorations on the outside, looking very welcoming, very warm. So as many of us know, Balenciaga, massive fashion company, they brought out this advert. And in this advert, uh, you had children holding teddy bears in a dominatrix, submissive dress up. On my way out this morning, uh, flicking through TikTok, seeing these videos. So have a quick look and then and comment below what you think as you watch these, these people's reactions to Balenciaga cutting up their clothing, judging the company for these adverts. What comes to your mind when you see them? So watch these. These people don't know what to do since Virgil died. Like, they just probably paid $1,000 for front row seats to the Nightmare Before Christmas on live. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you didn't throw them away. We know you didn't throw them away. You want to know how you do it? You want to know how you really do it? Fucking break this shit up. And whoever knows me knows that this is breaking my heart because I love my Balenciaga shoes. But. This is how you do it, bitch. This is how you do it, bitch. This is how you do it, bitch. Bye. 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 You wanna show it for real? Show it for real. Be honest. Be real. You wanna get rid of it? And not do it for the cloud? Get rid of them. Bye. 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 Can't even break them. And now is when you throw them to the trash and you threw them away not before nice cappuccino so after reacting to some of these videos people clearly people that are very disconnected from normal living cutting up their shoes their hats their clothing as a protest to say that they don't support balenciaga what i find more interesting is how we as developed countries, very privileged people, want to react only when it's shoved in our face. Yes, the adverts are horrible. There should not be adverts like this with kids and these sexual aspects, but everyone still wants to shop for these fashion brands, even though there are child labors in the background. There are horrible things that happen behind these companies, yet we're still going to spend hundreds of pounds for these pointless pieces of clothing. I never quite understood it. I've never been materialistic. I've never cared for the value of something or the value that you put on something because it's limited edition. Especially things like you look at Supreme, they have all these products that they put a high price because it's limited. I don't understand this. For all the people that are trying to protest, destroy their overpriced, money wasted shirts, shoes, hats, thinking that they're doing something woke, that they're trying to stand up for what's good, don't even bother. The next time you want to go and buy branded clothing, get yourself a shirt, no one really cares that much. You can drop the ego, and with the rest of the money that you're willing to waste, you could send that off to so many good needs. Even parts of India, there are charities that are set up to prevent child labor. So you want to be woke, do good, stand up for what's right for humanity. Go and do that instead. Otherwise, from here in Poland, well, I'll be here for one more month, cannot wait. We're gonna be moving to Cambodia, Southeast Asia. I'm gonna enjoy this cappuccino in a lovely little cafe with the nutcracker right here. And uh, yeah, relax. And maybe see some more of these reaction videos to Balenciaga, very, very stupid. Otherwise, come out your shell, find simplistic happiness. Much love, bye.